And yeah, and then the last part that I also say there is when we're looking at you know the pediatric population, you've also got to remember that your your most valuable asset is the mom. Um, the mom in any of these treatments, I include, I teach the mom the skills, I show the mom the techniques, I give the mom encouragement of, yeah, you're doing that fantastically, well done. And I often find is if we get the patient on board, we get the mom on board, mom gets dad involved, mom gets the cousin involved, mom gets the granny involved, mom gets everyone involved in this person's rehab, and the person appreciates that. So never underestimate the power of mom, include them in the session. A lot of times I'll chat to the physio or the patient and then the mom is waiting outside in the waiting room. Include the mom in the session, get them in. The mom wants to know she's the information network. She's the one that's gonna hold everything together. And, and typically what I find is when I change my, my thinking from just treating the patient to equipping the parent, it, it goes so much better because now we've got two equipped people to do the same task. And that really does change a lot of things. But from the mom, the mom's the one that does the referring. So if I treat one NDIS client and I get the mom involved and I've listened to the patient and mom's happy, mom sees that you've listened to a kid. Mom also sees that you've taken the time to get to know them. But mom also sees that you're really making a difference according to what they want. That mom is your most valuable resource. Yeah. The amount of referrals that I'll get from a mom is absolutely ridiculous. I probably have a waiting list um, when I was in Cal for a good couple of weeks just from, from the moms. Yeah. Um, here in Albany as well, it's the same thing. The moms are my biggest referral network. And we, we have like, a, as you know, a friend and family referral oh, scheme at Health First Group and uh, off the charts in Albany. So uh, the number of people that are referring other people uh, to the clinic uh, is off the charts in comparison to any other clinic. And uh, as you say, it's based on building a rapport and it's the best form of advertising, isn't it? Um, you know, just, just make a good impression and um, do, do the job well, get results and uh, everything else comes and then the, uh, the, the patients keep flocking in to see you. Yeah. There's um, one last thing just on that note. So sometimes with the NDIS patients, um, sometimes you have to also know when to pull back a little bit. Yeah. Um, and what I mean by that is sometimes the autistic kid or the person with a disability just needs time to just be. And to kind of adopting that mindset of you can have a bad day and it's okay. You can crack it here, it's fine. You know, and sometimes you just need to learn when to just take a step back and I call it again the human factor I've got my physio goals this is what we want to do but sometimes your patient just needs you to step back yep. give them the space to just be and once they've calmed down once they've kind of settled down once they've told you what's happened in the week maybe their dog died you know whatever that is and I call it the human factor just again it reiterates that you're really listening to them you're not just going in with your own agenda you're really there to help them you're really there to serve them and that would probably be my biggest encouragement when you get a new patient, think of how you can serve them, not necessarily what you can do for them, it's how you can serve them. Yeah. Changing that little mindset of, I'm the physio, I'm gonna tell you what to do, to I'm the physio, I'm gonna support you the best way I can, and that's gonna be serve you. If that means you need a space to cry, you can cry. If that means you need to talk about the dog that just died, you can talk about it here. Yeah. And it creates this really good safe space where they can just be themselves. And the biggest difference that I've seen with my patients is when you let them be 100% themselves, that's when you get the best results. Yeah, good. Yeah, I like that. And that, that might be a case of just having a chat to them and we'll see you next week. And like you say, give them that time um, and not sort of forcing what you want to do during the session because you think that today they need to do their exercises or uh might just not be the day for it and let's see you next week yeah <laughs> uh, and sort of allow that to that process to occur yeah 